Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some really, really huge news in regards to the PlayStation 5, Sony, and as well as also TSMC, which is a really, really big semiconductor, like basically company that, well, makes all those really big semiconductors and works with all these like internal parts. Think of all like the little baby, little smidgen of things that we need that basically cars, laptops, PlayStations, computers, whatever you guys want to go name, have needed throughout this past like year and a half. Like this really massive, awful supply chain issue. And there's actually kind of a big partnership going on with them. So it's actually all around really, really big news, really hype news, and a lot of things to kind of go and talk about all throughout this. And as well, really good news to go and see, especially as we're leading towards the holiday weekend. Well, holiday more so, like next few months. And as well, it was really, really good to go and see because we just haven't really seen too many PlayStation 5 restocks in these past few weeks. So the more the better, the better the news we go get, and let's go and talk about it. So as well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for our brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, which will be ending very, very soon. So make sure you guys get your last minute subscriptions on or use that link tree link down below for bonus entries. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controller, Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below. Sign up for Weeble, deposit $100, you guys go get free stock, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. And I just appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Let's go dive on into it. So as I mentioned, there's been a lot of things that have kind of been making their way around throughout this past week of Sony and TSM basically trying to go and partner to go and help ease up this global, huge, massive chip shortage. So quite a few things to go talk about all throughout this video. So let's go and talk about it. We should have a cool article over here from Spiel Times. We're going to go and mention and just go and uh, see all this as you guys want to do this. So basically the PlayStation 5, Sony and TSMC to ease the global chip shortage going on over here. So no one second, let me go get my little camera up here. So we're all looking good. Okay, good to go. Sorry about that. So by now you must be aware of the power chip shortage crisis, which is leading to massive production delays for all consoles. These power regulating chips serve a very important purpose and many electronic devices cannot run without it. Console devices like the PS5, for example, have taken a great hit because it's a necessary component. Also, one sec, sorry, I have my camera in the wrong spot. It's a necessary component in their production. Efforts are being made to avert this crisis, but it seems unlikely to end until the pandemic is done. So we've kind of had this little issue happen a lot. Basically, all these really big semiconductor plants are running at like 100%. They're running like 110% to the point of like... If there's any issues at all, it takes like three days off to go and actually like, you know, take a little break, whatever. Everything goes completely bonkers. It goes really, really bad. It takes like a long time to restart them on up. We had major issues with like fires. We had the all entire Texas issue where everything had to get shut down for a while. And just basically every company known to man is like, oh my God, people need to buy stuff. People want to buy stuff. People are basically working from home. Like, I'm sure you guys know the generic stuff. But basically, it's just really, really hard to go and make them because everything is just so, so, so stun lot and so supply lot. It's hard to go and get. But as of now, Sony and TSMC partnership, actually. So in a recent development, Taiwan's TSMC and Japan's Sony Group Corp are now considering a jointly building a chip factory in Japan. Apparently, the Japanese government is ready to pay for some of the investment of around 800 billion yen or 7.15 billion dollars, you know, US dollars that was recorded by Nikkei. And then TSMC is the world's largest contract chip maker and semiconductor manufacturing company. So the proposed plant in Kuramoto is expected to produce these semiconductors and power regulating chips which are facing shortages. The shortage has severely hit the automobile, camera manufacturing, as well as gaming console manufacturers. Being in the internal stages, it's likely to start operations by 2024, according to the reports. So, a few things to kind of note for this and why it's kind of good. Of course, it's not necessarily like a pure, like this current second is good, <laughs> because of course you have to still build it or whatever. But this is number one, really good in terms of taking the pressure off of other things. So when it comes to this, that means that let's go and say you have Sony or you have TSMC and they want to go and number one, invest into the future of all these consoles, trying to make more consoles, trying to make the PS4, PS5 Pro, PS5 6, whenever that kind of comes down in the first place. I like you just said PS5 6, <laughs> but all that stuff put together, it will go and almost like more so help that out in the long term for sure. Short term, 
This could also actually go and also somewhat propose and postpone some different types of chip manufacturers in case some of their things aren't as drastic. So a really good example on this is like, say like there's like a really big order, say in 2022, 2023, and they're okay waiting on it to maybe save some more money once the factories are up. That does kind of go and ease up a lot of the stress towards other various things, which would also probably go help out the PS5 and Xboxes too as well. A lot of this is kind of just more so like the stability, encouraging stuff and basically helping stuff that even if there is a lot of really big issues going on in terms of production, semiconductor production, making consoles, etc., it makes it so the long term is going to be better, as well as also really good for short term to basically kind of like, you know, have at least some, like kind of have some reason to kind of go and be like, yes, we're investing in the future and kind of giving hope towards other people too as well. As I said, it's not like the end all be all like right this second. It's really, it's really good. But of course, as the people are like addressing the issues and working on the issues, it will be very, very nice to go and see as well. This is very, very good to do top on this. Let's go talk about this. So while this might be great for the future, which I agree on, it will surely not help the ongoing crisis, which once again, that's kind of true because they're not necessarily making more consoles. 2024 is too far away until things, uh, then things will probably get a little bit more better, hopefully by then. And according to recent statements by AMD, as I'm sure you guys probably saw, then Toshiba, the crisis might actually start getting a little bit better by the later half of 2022. So quite evidently, this merger may not do anything really crazy to go help the global chip shortages. But long term, it'll be a very, very nice thing to go and kind of go and see. So let me kind of go talk about the actual factory a little bit more on this and we can kind of wind down with all this. So it's just very good that they're addressing the problems. Very cool to go and see them doing a joint you know, issue going on, like addressing the issue and fixing it. I do kind of wish it'd be way more impactful for, impactful for like right this second. This would, be, would have been, this would have been really nice to see like two years ago, at the start of the pandemic. But at that point, it's like kind of hindsight is 2020. So it is kind of nice to see. We do enjoy the fact that they're working on this, but it's not going to ease up everything super, super soon. But as I mentioned, there are a little bit of few side components, such as like maybe some companies are willing, willing to wait as well as also the fact that this will also make the PS5 Pro and also PS6 a little bit more easier and easier to go manufacture if there still is like a little bit of a supply chain hiccup. We just don't necessarily know how long the supply but like global chain is going to go be kind of backlogged for. But on the bright side, it should be slowly easing off and we keep on seeing numbers of the 2022 as well, which is very, very nice to go and see. But the one kind of thing, bigger thing would be more so in terms of like more on the economic side of it, because if we have a really big company like Sony and like, you know, TSMC working together, that will definitely go in number one, help out future consoles, as we've mentioned throughout this video, but also let people go and mitigate into other different types of companies too. So Sony as a general whole could maybe be a goal, possibly even use these semiconductors and extra semiconductors. Think like a brand new PSP, think like a PS Slim, think more other renditions of consoles in the future as well. So think like, you know, custom made consoles, custom cases and all that type of stuff, because they have the technology to go kind of bump out extra stuff. And I hope to God we're still not going to be having in this like big crisis from 2024, because if that is, I don't know if I could still be making as many of YouTube videos as I do at this point. I don't, I think at some point I'd have to take a day off at some point over there, but it is at least nice to go and see that they are addressing this issue, even though it might be a little bit more of a short-term thing, long-term might be very, very good. And as well, I'm sure a lot of you guys have kind of known too, the PS5 has been kind of been facing a really big supply crisis as the pandemic has hit basically all these console manufacturers, which is why if this was actually set up beforehand, it'd be a lot easier for us to go utilize that too as well. These ships basically are just ma major components of the CPUs and GPUs of electronic devices, and as well for other various things we always keep on mentioning. So these materials need to make the chips aren't being, you know, excavated because of the pandemic. And basically, like I said, everything's running at like a 110% as of right now. And other reason too as well, just that everyone wants a console. So it goes out of stock. Everyone wants a new laptop because they're going out of stock. Everyone's trying to go buy a new car, new laptop, new anything it is. And it involves technology because they're all just, you know, most of the time still at home. And I'm sure it'll probably get a little bit worse too as it gets the winter season now in all these northern states. And as well... A lot of people are just, you know, trying to get their passions and hobbies kind of going on over here too as well on top of that. But it's very, very intriguing to go and see. This is like, like I said, not necessarily like, you know, the end all be all fix of our solutions right this second. But I do think it's really good news. I think it's really nifty to go and see. And of course, there is like some small benefits, as I mentioned, like if they want to work around their systems, maybe they wouldn't mind also spending more money as of right this second to go like, you know, expedite orders because they know that they'll be able to go get them cheaper and like, you know, spend money now to go make sure they can go and maintain their money later on, get more people in the ecosystem, stuff like that. So there is like actually good benefits towards this and like how this is going to be nice and like, especially for the PS5 consoles, even as of right now, 
but I think it's gonna be really good for Sony and TSMC in the future. And like I said, it kind of gets a little bit of pressure off of them for the future restock. So hopefully this won't happen again for the PS5 Pro, PS5 Slim, or PS6, whenever that does come on out. But either way, this is very intriguing news and cool news to go and see. So if you guys all enjoyed just watching, kind of talking about this as well. And as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stock, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. And of course, leave your thoughts and comments down below too as well. Love you guys.